Good morning, fam. I hope everyone is having a very, very good week. My name is Ashley Goldstone and welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to film a gym routine or what I do before the gym, the supplements that I'm taking before, during, and after. And then I wanted to include a hotel gym workout. I did this workout a couple months ago just in my condo gym downstairs. I saved it because I was literally sore for seven days. I just want to show you guys that you don't need to go to the gym to have a good workout if you have just like a little home gym or some dumbbells really all you need I will include the workout in the description box below I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please be sure to give me a thumbs up I'm so grateful for all the support that I have already been getting on these videos hopefully I can get more intimate with you guys and be producing more consistent content but for now, we have videos on the weekly, so if you like what you see, please stay for more. Come learn a thing or two with me. So before the gym, depending on how I'm feeling, I usually do have a pre-workout. I don't really have a specific one that I like. When I'm looking for a pre-workout, I really like something that's high in beta alanine. So beta alanine is that one ingredient in pre-workouts that gives you that itchy feeling. Some people hate it, some people love it. I'm one of those people who really likes it. I like that feeling and I find I have really good workouts when my pre-workouts are high with citrulline and beta alanine. So beta alanine is something that kind of flushes your body of the lactic acid and will also just help with muscle functioning and just overall exercise performance so that's something good to have as well as the citrulline mallet a lot of people have this ingredient already in them but i like to add extra so this kind of increases the blood flow helps with oxygen transportation and like it will also help with overall exercise performance i add this to either one of my pre-workouts it's just extra citrulline so extra pump and blood flow but right now i am switching in between the pump addict and dynamatize they're both really good this one is a little bit higher in caffeine so that's not going to be an everyday thing for me this one's a little bit lower in caffeine I do like kind of like a moderate caffeine because I do have coffee in the morning My pre is really high in caffeine and then I crash really hard afterwards So I just like to have something moderate chill not too intense. So that's my pre for my intro workout I always used to have BCAAs the brand chain amino acids But I've kind of gone away from those just because I was chronically thirsty and my doctor told me to kind of just take out some of the supplements out of your routine. So I've been doing this for a couple years now. I just have a little bit of glutamine, which is a amino acid, building blocks of protein, helps build muscle. It's unflavored, but it has like a really weird taste. So I tend to combine it just with an emergency. I know a lot of people take these like when they're getting sick or if they're already sick. And they just have lots of vitamins in them. They have a really good flavor. I find them really tasty. Along with vitamins, they also have electrolytes, which I find that I need a lot during my workouts i sweat profusely if you haven't already noticed so i'm losing a lot of that sodium potassium and i need that replenished and that's kind of why i switched out bcas and then added in these just because they have those electrolytes i find they help me so much and i feel so much better with these they're honestly very inexpensive you can buy these at walmart on amazon i'm not saying they're better than amino acids and you should be taking these over amino acids it's just like what works for me i'm not suggesting that anyone should be taking supplements you don't actually need supplements at all they're just here to supplement supplement your life, supplement your diet, supplement your workouts. So that's kind of why, like I obviously don't need pre-workout, but I like it. So yeah, that's kind of why I take the things that I take. These two go in my shaker and I mix with water and that's what I drink throughout my workout. So I will see you guys down there for my workout. big bucks for guys <laughs> I start my workout when I'm working out in my home gym with some treadmill to warm me up warm my muscles up and make sure I'm ready to go I'll do about seven inclined three speed for five minutes and of course I start my lower body days with some glute activation I did a couple glute activation exercises to wake up my glutes if you want to know more about glute activation why I do it all the exercises you can be doing I do have an entire video dedicated just to glute activation Pretty much just going to wake up the glutes, make sure they're activated and ready to start working out because you sit on your bum all day and they are quite the difficult muscle to turn on.
Hopping right into my workout after I'm all warmed up with a superset. I think I'm using about 30 to 40 pounds here. After I'm done my set, I'm going to hop right into banded unweighted squats with no breaks or rest in between. I'm using my slingshot hip circle that I use in every single glute workout. With each weighted set, I definitely try to increase my weight by about five pounds. Next exercise is the goblet sumo deadlift. These can definitely go a bit heavier than the squat since the dumbbell is being held at a lower position. For these, you want to keep your back straight at all times, no rounding, and make sure your neck is staying at a neutral position to reduce injury or straining the neck. Next up, we got the side lunge. These are actually quite a bit challenging to do, but once you get them down, they burn. My glutes always feel these the next day or the next couple of days. You're gonna want to hold the weight in the opposite arm of the leg you're squatting with this will help a lot with balance keeping your back straight of course and the opposite leg straight definitely start off with a lighter weight until you get the form down hotel gyms just hit different there's not a lot of equipment here there's no distractions so when you get in you really just have to work I'm taking less breaks more supersets kind of just keeping that heart rate up so i think that's why i'm sweating so next up we got the classic stiff leg deadlift. As always, push each rep through your heels to really target that posterior chain and the glutes. Always push towards the back wall while keeping your spine in line with your neck to eliminate any possibility of injury. I would also encourage increasing the weight with each set with this exercise. Next up, we have the good old split squat. These actually kill me. I do a really light weight in both hands to keep my balance. I keep the foot flat on the elevated bench and make sure that the leg my weight is on is far enough forward that when I'm bending into the squat position, my knee isn't going past my toes. Get low with each squat and push through the burn. Oh, yeah. Macaroni. I have one more. One more finisher. Let's. Go. I lay on a mat for these just with my shoulders and neck on the mat, keeping my arms to the side to help support and keep me balanced. I dig only my heels into the exercise ball and with your core fully engaged, bring your legs towards you for the hamstring curl. Keep your chin tucked in. I just finished up my workout. I was dying as you can see, so that's why I look the way I do right now. So after the gym or after any workout, I typically like to have a protein shake or if I don't have a protein shake, I at least like to have a really large meal. But today I'm gonna be making a smoothie with vegan protein powder. It is inspired by a really good smoothie company here in Vancouver that's literally right outside my gym, Body Energy Club. I tried the smoothie a couple weeks ago from there. It was so so good it was like chocolate mint and it was so tasty so i like went online found the ingredients so i'm going to show you my knockoff body energy club chocolate mint smoothie everything right now for me i am incorporating mint and chocolate and i can't get enough of it i will usually do about a couple ice cubes one banana protein powder i just use this vega vanilla one from costco because i love costco you can really use any kind of protein it doesn't even have to be plant-based i do two dates two tablespoons of the cacao nibs or cocoa nibs. It kind of just gives it like a chocolate chip vibe. And then a little bit of peanut butter. I'll probably just use the tablespoon again. This is just the natural creamy peanut butter. Dash of cinnamon. And then just some almond milk. I'll do about a cup just to kind of saturate everything. Oh wait, just kidding. I forgot the most important ingredient. This is organic peppermint extract. Be very careful if you use this. It's so strong. It literally only needs like a baby, baby drop. A little baby. I think this is a really good well-rounded smoothie to have post-workout. It's going to be quite high in calories, so it's going to be really good to kind of replenish your muscles from all the breakdown you're just doing in the gym. Mm.
Anyways, so that concludes my condo gym workout and my gym routine. I do have a lot of supplement knowledge because I was affiliated with a supplement company for a really long time. I'm no longer with that supplement company, not for any particular reason other than my lifestyle has changed a lot and I'm not so focused on the gym and supplements anymore. Obviously, it's still a big part of my life, but it's not the only part of my life. I hope I was able to teach you guys why I take the supplements that I do, but also please, please, please know that you do not need supplements to see progress in the gym supplements are called supplements because that is all they are different things work for different people and this is what works for me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe i always love and appreciate the support so i will see you guys the next time i see you guys bye